Amir Suix from Central Mauritius, New York, leads the team in steals with 46, in scoring 25.9 points per game, and in rebounds, 11.6 caroms per contest. At the other forward slot, it will be Vicky Pikett, six-foot freshman out of Heightstown, 11.2 average. Last week, the Atlantic 10 freshman of the week. At center, it will be Missy Lender, 6'2", junior from Enola, Pennsylvania, averaging 11.7 points per game. And in the backcourt, 5'6", junior Janet Malouf out of Milltown, leading the team in assists. And Talisha Austin, 5'9", junior out of Patterson, averaging 11.9 points per game. The head coach of Rutgers, Teresa Grentz, who just, of course, this week got her 300th career win. And there's her career record, a fine career record of 300 wins, just 88 losses. The crowd here at the Athletic Center now rising for our national anthem. today at the Athletic Center for this women's college basketball game. And Rutgers, as we mentioned, you hate to beat a dead horse, but they have never beaten Old Dominion, and they certainly would like to break that streak here today. And you talk about the crowd, Lou, it wasn't too long ago. I think it was the 81-82 game here at Rutgers that Rutgers set a single game attendance record of 2,756, which is really a big deal in those days. Now it's kind of commonplace because Rutgers women are averaging 2874 at home. And there is the Rutgers Conehead who makes an appearance at the game. Good to have him here. Two other key players, of course, that we didn't mention uh, as we started this game, but who I think are going to be key for ODU, Liz Conahan. She really hustled. I watched them practice last night, and I was really impressed with the way she gets around the floor. And, of course, for Rutgers, Vicki Pikett, who really has been doing great things for them as a freshman inside. All right, Old Dominion in their road navy blue uniforms with silver trim and silver numerals, and Rutgers in the home white trimmed with red, and Wicks will jump it up for the Lady Knights, the tap control though for Old Dominion as they move right to left on your screen. This is Stephanie Garner at the point guard position for ODU. Kim McWhorter. Inside they go, out to McWhorter from the foul line, jumper no good. Rebound, knocked around, last touch by Rutgers. It'll be Old Dominion's ball. Rutgers starting out in that matchup zone. You'll see him point to a player and try to pick that player up, but they'll slide and help out a little bit. Wendy Larry studying that matchup. Shot no good by Conahan, and Rutgers the other way. Malouf quickly up ahead to Austin, lays it up and in. Well, that's really important for Rutgers to get that transition game going. And if anyone can do it, it's Malouf and Austin. Quickly, Old Dominion the other way. And that shot put in a fine move by Kim McWhorter. Actually, it was Adrian Goodson, excuse me, who scores the basket for Old Dominion. We're tied at two, just underway first half. Austin and Malouf in the backcourt for Rutgers. Pike it. Pike it. Pops, no good. And that's a, a shot that Vicky usually does not take more of an inside player. Definitely likes to drive. She likes to fake that shot, bring the defense out, put her shoulder down, and take it to the basket with a power move. Good defense by Rutgers as Garner comes outside. But the women only have 30 seconds to get it up, and they're down to three. 
And the shot clock goes off. The shot would not have counted, I don't believe. But Pikett gets the rebound and Rutgers the other way. Malouf quickly across the midcourt line. Janet in the corner. T. Austin fires no good. Rebound underneath Kelly Lyons. And quickly Old Dominion the other way. Here's Goodson. Stops in the paint and scores. Adrian Goodson with a nice soft shot. And, and Old Dominion leads 4-2. to two. And that shows her athletic ability. Kim Down took in the paint, going fast, but had great body control. Here is Lender outside. Looks for Wicks off the cut. Outside Lender. Pops no good. Pike it. Tips it back, but Old Dominion has a three on two. Quickly, Garner dumps off the Goodson, who lays it up. No good. Wicks with the rebound. Shovels ahead to Austin. Austin bounce pass Pike it. Regains control, hands to Wicks, who fires and hits. And that's almost her patented move along that baseline, turn around and take that jumper. And it was a nice job by Pikett. She lost control. Instead of trying to go on up, she waited for Wicks to come around for that one. Pikett knocks it out of bounds. We're tied at four, 17 and a half remaining first half. We should mention, Dick, that Old Dominion is a very hot basketball team. They have five wins in a row, including a victory over 14th ranked Long Beach State, 85-76. Dump inside the Lions. A gorgeous pass by Kim McWhorter. Nice penetration. Lions did a nice job of handling that ball in traffic, too. And Old Dominion by two. 6-4. Lady Monarchs lead it. Here's Pikett. Linder. Cross court Austin. Into Linder. Missy puts up a strong move. Doesn't go. Tap back to Wicks. Dumps inside, tapped away by Old Dominion. Last touch by Kelly Lyons. And Teresa Grants wants a timeout. Not necessarily pleased with what's going on. Timeout on the floor. 16 minutes, 51 seconds remaining, first half. The score is Old Dominion 6 and Rutgers 4. at some of the big crowd here at Rutgers. And the RU pep band right now, Old Dominion leading by two and they have played well the first three minutes of this game. Early timeout for Coach Grant Stick. Uh, usually she doesn't go for the timeout that early, but obviously not pleased with the way things are going. I'm sure she saw, saw, saw something she wanted to make an adjustment with. Maloof loses it, regains. Good defense by Garner. Here's Pikett, 30 second shot clock, remember, in women's college basketball. Here's Wicks in the paint, turn around too hard. Rebound underneath Old Dominion. And Goodson is playing a fabulous game for the Monarchs early. Pass across court to Lyons. Outside, shot McWhorter. Austin with the rebound. The foul is on Kim McWhorter. There is a look at Wendy Larry, the head coach of Old Dominion. Coach calling the defense there with the cards. We saw number 23. So Here. I think they're in defense, number 23. Here's Maloof. Wendy Larry told me last night she was going to use a lot of junk defenses. Austin, baseline jumper good. Great shot, and that makes Rutgers that much tougher when they can get that perimeter shooting from T. Austin. We are tied at six. Goodson, outside. Conahan, no good off the back of the rim. Malou gets the rebound. And Austin will pull up. Austin 
Austin. No question about that. She can go to either side. We saw that against Merlin, uh, the last team that uh, game that we did. They give her that outside shot, and she hits it like that. That's dangerous for ODU. Conahan puts it up and draws the foul. Interesting, if we can get a shot maybe a little bit later on when Rutgers comes down the court on the offensive end of the Old Dominion bench holding up the numbers, one of the assistant coaches holding up the numbers. And uh, I guess you're right, that uh, is the defense. I thought it was kind of a coincidence that uh, it was number 23 because Sue Wicks wears number 23. And uh, almost thought maybe, well, maybe Old Dominion is trying to pull a psych job. But I, I, I guess you're right, Dick. I guess it is the defensive call. Well, I guess that's a little easier to do than the coach jumping up and down, giving hand signals. Conahan hits both. Liz Conahan, 88% free throw shooter on the year. Connects on both. We are tied at eight. 15 minutes remaining first half. By the way, Wicks is out. And into the game, Wendy Porter. Porter finds Pikett, puts it up, no good. And Old Dominion the other way. Here comes Garner across the midcourt line. McWhorter, Goodson, Kelly Lyons moves baseline, in trouble now. Pikett, good defense. Goodson, Lyons, McWhorter from the top of the circle buries it. And Old Dominion leads by two, 10 to eight. Kim McWhorter is a shooter from the perimeter, no doubt about that. In high school, she's a parade third team All-American. You look at this ODU team, and it's made up of high school All-Americans. Maloof into Lender, puts it up off the glass. That's a good play, and that's what Lender's been doing so well, what got her name Player of the Week by the New Jersey Coaches and Writers Association this past week. Had a career high, 23 points against GW. We are tied at 10. McWhorter, inside Lions, turn around against Lender, does not score, Pikett rebound. Here's Austin pushing the ball up court. Maloof on the left flank. Janet open, fires and hits. <laughs> Rutgers has recaptured the lead. The Lady Knights by a bucket, 12-10. Rutgers extending now a little bit more pressure, but they'll fall back into that matchup, which does a nice job defensively inside. It's gonna be very tough for Lions in there. Shot outside, no good by Garner. And Rutgers the other way, it's a two on one. Maloof pulls up and hits. And she did a nice job of taking that ball right into the ODU player and going up strong and ODU calling a good timeout. And Old Dominion calls timeout. 12 minutes, 55 seconds remaining, first half. It's Rutgers 14, Old Dominion 10. and a half tons of some of the most effective firefighting equipment on wheels. Over 4,000 feet of hose and the power to drown a fire was 750 gallons of water a minute. But without the firefighters to man her. Join your volunteer fire department. With your support, help is on the way. And there he is, the Scarlet Knight, who also plays without emotion. Never seems to change the expression on his face. You gotta wonder why, too. But he's into the game, as you can see. Speaking of the game, it's interesting to see both teams trying to get that running game gone. ODU pushing it down, Rutgers pushing it down. Rutgers doing a little bit better job so far with that transition game. And their matchup defense, I think, is very, uh, being very effective against ODU. ODU will have to score from the outside against that matchup to try to pull it out a little bit more. Right now, it's trying to slough off and defend Kelly Lyons inside. She is the leading scorer, 18 point plus per game, and a strong inside player, but I think that matchup is neutralizing her so far. All right, Kim McWhorter will trigger for ODU. 
full court pressure by the Knights. Wicks almost with a steal. And Lynn Ust also into the game, applying the pressure for Rutgers. Here is Garner. McQuarter wide open at the foul line, cannot connect. The Lions with a nice rebound has it knocked away by Wicks. Scramble for the ball underneath. Austin comes out with it. Maloof, two on one, Rutgers. Pulls up, finds Wicks. Open jumper, no good. Rebound, Old Dominion. Rutgers did a great job of pushing the ball down to get that break that time. Inside Lions, turns around. Wicks there on the D. Wicks, us, and Maloof all there on the D for her. Made it very tough for her to go to either side. Now she's got it one-on-one. -on -one. And travels. Vicki Pikett getting some instructions from Coach Grentz. On how to tie her shoelace, <laughs> I think. Here's Maloof, Austin. Baseline jumper, good. Well, that's her spot so far in the first half. And that's great. I'll tell you, that makes Rutgers that much better a team. And in my mind, takes them above their number eight ranking if she hits like that. Boy, Adrian Goodson really takes the ball to the hoop effectively. Great speed down the court. Rutgers by four, 16-12. Adrian Goodson, their sixth all-time scorer at ODU. Austin rebound. Loses. And the foul is on McWhorter. Not sure I like that particular call. I thought that was all ball, and we probably would have had a walk. And Pike it back into the game. Teresa, Linder will sit down. Teresa Grinch does a great job with her bench. She really uses the players effectively and works a lot of them into the basketball game. T. Austin misses the free throw. Talisha hitting 56% from the free throw line, which is not real good. Two freshmen for Rutgers out there. Vicki Pikett, Lynn Ott. She misses both, but Wicks gets the rebound. Gives to Pikett, who scores. And there's her strength. She doesn't like that outside shot, but she brings the defense out, makes a nice drive around the baseline, goes up very strong. And the foul in the backcourt, I believe, is on Maloof. Rutgers game plan, obviously, to put a little bit of pressure on, and they're going to stay with it now. Wendy Larry trying to give her team some pointers to break that. Teresa Grant saying, stay with the pressure. A quarter. Inside Lions, forces one up and connects. Kelly Lyons with a tough shot over three defenders. Austin quickly off court. 18-14 Rutgers by four. Approaching the halfway mark of this first half. Lynn Ust, bounce pass. Austin pops short. Rebound, ODU. Here is Stephanie Garner quickly across the midcourt line. In the corner, Goodson. Back to Garner. Wide open, takes a couple of steps in. Cannot hit. Pike it. Wisely slowed that ball up. She looked to run, realized Janet Maloof, that's her job. I better give her the ball. Janet calling the offense now. Wicks with a cross-court pass tapped away by Goodson. Take a look at this old Dominion team. They're playing very well, and one of their best players, senior Donna Harrington, has been injured for most of the season. They really, they really miss her. Injured her knee after the seventh game. She opted not to have the surgery, and they hope she's going to come back somewhere soon, although I saw her play practice last night, and she was taped up. And a jump ball. Wicks and Goodson. And Rutgers will have the ball on the alternating possession. And Ust will trigger in front of the Old Dominion bench. And ODU changing that defense up quite a bit. Looks like they're going to a little bit of man-to-man -man right now. Conahan on Wick. Ust forces one up and travels. Good. 
All right, Old Dominion will inbound on the traveling violation. Into the game now for the Lady Monarchs, Jackie Kenny. She's a freshman out of Youngstown, Ohio, number 15. But Maloof takes the ball away from her, puts it up and scores. Great move by Maloof, and there's the point guard taking a power move to the basket. And the steal. Recaptured by Goodson. Three on two, dumps it off the Lions, who puts it in. Two Wicks trying to draw that charge. Teresa Grintz wants that charge. Teresa Grintz livid on the Rutgers bench. Us fires, no good. Rebound, Fike it. Puts it up and in. And that was a great shot, too, because she was jumping up, falling away from the basket. A great athletic move by Vicki Pikett. Yeah. 22-16, Rutgers by six. 8.50 remaining. Inside, Kenny with a great pass to Lyon. That was a great move by Lyon, too. She came out high, brought Wicks up high, and then went down low, and there was no help there. 22-18. Jackie Kenny is a shooter, so I'm sure that's why she's in the game, to take advantage of that matchup, see if she can hit from the outside. Austin in and out, Pike it, rebounds, and the foul is on Goodson. And that's two offensive rebounds for Pike in a row. Last time she converted it for a basket, this time she held on to it, Rutgers picked up the foul. She's done a great job on that offensive board. Jackie Kenny for ODU, we mentioned a great shooter. She's a parade All-American first team in the USA today top 50 as a high school player last year. Austin comes out, Lender back in, Wicks back to Lender and back to Maloof. Pike it open, baseline, now travel. Good defensive move by Conahan that time, forcing Pike it to travel. Now that's tough, that travel call. You know, I've really gotten the thing here now with the officials all of a sudden, but the travels are tough. Teresa Grant's pointing there, trying to get some, some matchups. And Donna Harrington into the game for Old Dominion. And we did not think we would see her today. Donna Harrington, number 25, moving to the bucket. Goodson, offensive foul. Basket does not count. Harrington, the 6'2 senior from Lanham, Maryland, and there you take a look at her leg, and uh, really taped up, as Dick Lloyd mentioned before. It, it certainly is. You hard, it's hard to understand. There's a brace underneath of that that is typed, too. Maybe it's in honor of the home of Johnson & Johnson <laughs> that uh, they put her in now. Here is us. Lynn pops, no good, rebound, pike it! Third offensive rebound, two of them she has converted. Quickly up court, Goodson dishes, Harrington lays it up and in. Nice play by Old Dominion. 24 to 20, Rutgers by four. Maloof, Lender. Pike it. Maloof for three. In and out. Rebound knocked around. And Harrington with a great outlet pass to Goodson, who lays it up and in. It's a two-point ball game. 24-22 Rutgers. And ODU taking advantage of the Lady Knights there, getting beyond that defense and getting that transition game going. Wicks the turnaround. No good. Rebound Harrington and off of her leg and out of bounds. But I'll tell you, Donna Harrington has come off the bench and she has played effectively for Old Dominion. Rutgers needs to get two wicks in the basketball game. They haven't been able to, and ODU is working very, very hard on defending wicks. Also, Missy Lender has been silent in the first half. We remember the Maryland game. She was the same way in the first half and came through in the second half. Last two games, she's 15 for 20 from the field for 75%, 5 for 5 from the line. Harrington loses the dribble, but Old Dominion on the turnover, has the basketball. Conahan. Lions. Lady Monarchs can tie on this possession. Here's Conahan. Bounce pass underneath Harrington. Hook shot. Good. 
and she gives him a much more of a threat inside. Playing a little bit tentative, but I think I'd play tentative if I had my leg taped from my hip to my ankle. That is a ligament injury, by the way, on Harrington, and Wicks with a nice move puts it in. Those ligament injuries, folks, are serious, serious injuries. Sometimes it's a wonder that uh, she's even out there at all, really. And that was a great move by Wicks. She did such a nice job of positioning to get that inside position, and Rutgers guards did a great job of delivering the ball to her. Rutgers by two, 26-24, in a good one here at the Athletic Center. Wicks takes that one away, and she took a shot in the mouth. And ODU trying to force that ball too much inside that time. Pike it. Austin fires, in and out, rebound, Wicks. Wicks lost the ball, and a jump ball. It will be Old Dominion possession. And she had a little bit of trouble, but you can see that's what's great about Sue Wick. She's trying to take charge right now. She wants the basketball. She's working hard on the offensive board. That time she just held that ball too low, gone up, and it was really blocked by the other player's hip. Coming out of the game is Liz Conahan, and Adrian Goodson returns. She has played well for Old Dominion in the first half. Stephanie Garner to the top of the key. Goodson, baseline jumper off the front of the rim. Rebound knocked around underneath. Harrington puts it up and jump ball. It'll be Rutgers' possession. And Wendy Lowry doesn't like the call on the Old Dominion bench. No question the officials are letting him play a little bit inside and no question that, that uh, Harrington makes a difference in this team. He's really doing a job offensively inside. Teresa Grenz trying to figure out how to defend that. Two players to defend now, Lyons and Harrington inside. Us bounce pass, kick ball. Maloof will be coming in. And Lynn Ust will be coming out. And Teresa Grant's now going back with five minutes to play with that starting lineup, each of whom I believe has a little bit of a rest. Austin, Maloof. Pike it. Throws it away, but Maloof saves. Austin outside. Good defense by Old Dominion. Down to 10 seconds on the shot clock. Here's Austin outside. Bounce pass inside. Lender lays it up. No good. Pike it. Puts it up. In and a foul. That's at least the fourth offensive rebound, and she's converted three of them. That's crucial. Vicki Pike it with the basket, and she will go to the line to attempt to complete the three-point play. 67% free throw shooter. And Rutgers with eight offensive rebounds, ODU with only three. All right, timeout called. Timeout on the floor. Four minutes, 44 seconds remaining. First half, Rutgers 28, Old Dominion 24. There are many ways to say no. No enough to say no. A public service announcement sponsored by the International Council of Shopping Centers. And we are back here at the Athletic Center. You see the Rutgers cheerleaders entertaining the crowd. And a very entertaining basketball game as well. As Rutgers leads by four, 28-24. Old Dominion has gotten some quality minutes from Donna Harrington coming off the bench. And Dick, uh, as we mentioned, we did not think she would even play. And she certainly has given the Lady Monarchs a spark. Well, what she does, she gives them that one-two punch inside. She combines with Lions to make it a little bit more difficult to contain them inside. She's been first team all Sun Belt, which is the conference they're in for two years. And she was a second team high school All-American. Okay, Pike gets at the line, and she will shoot one. 
and try to give Rutgers a five-point lead. Vicky is four for four in her last four attempts at the basket from the field. And she hits the free throw. And Rutgers is leading by five, 29-24. 440 remaining first half. Important possession for ODU now for this as the half's drawing to an end. About four and a half minutes to go in the half, and they've got to get two here. McWhorter faked the shot. Cross court throws it out of bounds. Trying to go across to Jackie Kenny, but it sailed, and Rutgers will have the ball. That was a tough pass. He's <laughs> that little guy's pointing the same way, helping the official out. Four. 15 remaining. Rutgers looking to go up by seven. Here's Maloof. Lender in the paint. Soft jumper rolls off the rim. Harrington saves. Nice play. Here's McWhorter. Three on two all Dominion. Bounce pass. Garner fires and hits. And that was really good by ODU. They took advantage of that mental lapse by Rutgers. They pushed. They got that three on two, which they didn't initially have by pushing the ball down the floor. Good ball game. Glad you could join us. 29-26, Rutgers by three. 340 remaining first half. Lender into Wicks, and it's blocked by Harrington. Interesting match matchup with Jackie Kenny, the freshman defending Wicks. Harrington, though, came all the way over from the other side to help out. Maloof, Austin puts it up. No good. Pikett fights for the rebound, but Harrington comes away with it. Crowd calling for a travel, but not forthcoming. That's where Rutgers was getting themselves in a little bit of trouble. They're trying to contest that rebounder once the rebounder has it, and ODU's been able to go by the pack, get a fast break. Harrington cannot hit Lender rebound. Here's Maloof. Up quickly, Pike it. Great pass, but throws it away. It's unfortunate. She saw Wicks there, did not look at her, drew the defense, just couldn't handle the pass. Liz Conahan is back into the game for Old Dominion. Harrington will sit down. You're right, she got some quality time and some quality playing in there. ODU can cut it to one. 29-26 your score. Garner does so. Shoots from the top of the key. It's a one-point game. 29-28 Rutgers. Stephanie Garner, strong shooter from the outside. Player of the year in South Carolina when she was high school. 31 points per game as a high school player. Maloof into Wicks on the baseline. One-handed shot is good, and the foul. Lou, I'd say that was a one-handed throw, if you will. The player was right on her back. She warded off with her left hand and had the presence to get that shot off. Sue Wicks. Wade Trophy candidate. Having another marvelous season. Scored in 91 consecutive games for Rutgers. She hits the free throw. An 83% free throw shooter, by the way. And completes the three-point play. 32-28. Rutgers by four, two and a half remaining. Outside, McWhorter doesn't go. Rebound knocked around. And a scramble, last touch. Last touch by Rutgers. And Old Dominion will throw in. I don't think the Rutgers crowd thought it was last touched by Rutgers. Inside, Lions, double team. Wicks just takes it away. And traveling with the call on Piker. Had a little trouble handling the ball, but you can see again, without Harrington in there, Rutgers can put three players around Lions when she gets it inside, and there was nowhere for her to go. Wick just ripped it away from her. Strong move, Kim McWhorter. 32-30, Rutgers by a bucket. 140 remaining. Wicks puts it up, no good off the back of the rim. A lot of contact, and Old Dominion comes out with the basketball. Conahan was working on her block out. She was determined that Pike it was not going to get near the board. She is a hustler, Conahan. Gardner, and she is a shooter. Ties the game at 32. 
120 remaining, first half. Lender, here is Wicks. And a foul on the play will be called on Jackie Kenny of Old Dominion. Well, we thought we'd have a good ball game for you. We certainly do. It's shaping up that way. We are tied at 32. And keep in mind, Rutgers has never beaten Old Dominion. And in the lineup for ODU, Leslie Davis, six foot four, listed as a freshman. She actually sat out last year. Uh, another Proposition 48 candidate set out last year for academic reasons, get the good start on the books, and she's in playing this year. A little bit slow, but gives them good size inside. Another honorable mention, All-American player, Leslie Davis. Janet Maloof at the line, 78% free throw shooter, one and one, hits the throw. So I've mentioned uh, Proposition 48. Uh, for the people watching that don't know what that is, it's the NCAA rule in its second year, says a high school player must get a minimum of 700 on the boards, an average C in the core subjects in order to play their first year. Rutgers now pressing, putting a little bit more pressure on. Jump ball, and it will be Old Dominion's ball on the alternating procession. Shot outside, no good. Austin behind the back, loses it. A scramble at midcourt. Three on one, shot good by Jackie Kenny, And we're tied at 34. And that's Jackie Kenny Sprint, that outside shot that was a very nice play on her part. And Pike it, scores and draws the foul. She certainly has been the difference this half, and she went right around Davis. Davis a little bit too slow to try to come out and play Pike it. But it's obvious when you come out to play Pike it, she's not going to take the outside shot. She's going to drive, and yet she seems to be able to do it effectively. And Vicky Pike it to the line. The foul is on Kim McWhorter, and that is her third personal foul. And the shot no good by Pike it. Knocked around, taken by Old Dominion. 36-34, Lady Monarchs can tie. 21 seconds remaining. Outside shot, Garner no good. And Porter in the game now for Rutgers with the rebound. Two seconds, Maloof at the buzzer into the crowd. No quite basket, but we'll give her credit for the field goal right between the basket, if you will. Quite a heave, but that'll do it. An entertaining first half of basketball. Your score, Rutgers 36, Old Dominion came off the bench, and we didn't, as we mentioned earlier, did not even think she would play. She chipped in with four points, but more importantly, just gave some solid play inside for ODU. And it'll be interesting to see whether she can come back the second half, see how that leg reacted. Sometimes when you go out there and you haven't played for a while and you have an injury like that, it stiffens up. Wendy Larry, I'm sure, would like to have her back in. Helps that career record now, 61-36, the 5-0 series record for ODU. She'd like to walk away and make it 6-0. All right, Rutgers will inbound to begin the second half. They will move right to left on your screen. The Lady Knights with the basketball and Janet Maloof moves up to the top of the key lender. The turnaround is good. Well, this is a replay of the Maryland game. Lender, silent in the first half, comes right out in the second half, pops and hits. She did that identical thing against Maryland. You're right. Here is Goodson. Rutgers by four, 38-34. Goodson in the paint with a wild shot that goes in. And that was a great one, too. She drove one up in the air, laid that out with her left hand. It was a nice move. 38-36. Rutgers by two. Maloof, Lender lays it in. What a great scouting report by you, Lou. You called that. First two baskets for Rutgers from Missy Lender. 40-36. 19 minutes remaining in the second half. Just underway here. 
We'll have to ask Teresa Grinch what she says to Missy Lender that does that for the second half. Conahan, open, Garner, no good, air ball. Conahan with a nice save, and Garner retrieves. Nice hustle by Liz Conahan. And Garner kind of forcing that shot. There was good pressure on the defense. In fact, I thought Rutgers might have tipped that ball. Bounce pass, Lions turn around, and the foul underneath will be on Rutgers. A couple of players there, so we'll have to wait for the call. It's the first team foul on RU in the second half. And if, I, if I guessed, I'd say Sue Wick. It is Pikett on the foul, Pikett. Shows you how much I know. <laughs> I'm watching a different game. Well, all three players, Lender, Wicks, and Pikett, were in the vicinity. On the line, Kelly Lyons, 71% free throw shooter on the year, 18.6 average on the season. She misses the first and hits the second. 40 to 37, three-point Rutgers lead. Here's Austin. Maloof. Pike it. Pulls up. Jumper no good. Lender underneath scores. Now, Lou, this is unbelievable. It really is. Three straight baskets by Missy Lender. Identical job she did against Merlin. 42-37. Are you by five? Two minutes gone by second half. Defense. Defense. Kelly Lyons Defense. inside. Nice pass to Conahan who scores. What a nice that's Perfect fundamental execution of the high-low series with Lions getting it up high, giving it to Conahan, cutting the basket down low. That was beautiful basketball. McWhorter knocks it away from Austin. Last touch by Old Dominion. Rutgers will inbound underneath their own basket. Wicks, Pike it, puts up a. Nice shot, Lender! What happened there, I'll tell you, was that Conahan came over to help out, and what that does, that leaves Lender all alone on the other side for the rebound. 44-39, 17 minutes remaining second half. Here's McWhorter, and uh, the push on Rutgers. That'll be the second team foul for the Lady Knights here in the second half. And Teresa Grentz wants a timeout. So, 17.04 remaining second half. Timeout on the floor. Rutgers 44, Old Dominion 39. Ranking you down, always getting in the way. And the longer you smoke, the heavier it gets. You know you should quit. Maybe you've even tried once or twice. But just when you think you're free, it's back again. The important thing is you can quit. Over 36 million smokers have. So keep trying. Get smoking off your back. And out of your life. For good. Well, at halftime... In the halftime interview, you heard Teresa Grant say she would love to have 9,000 people packed into the Athletic Center to see the Lady Knights play. Close today, 7,720 is the attendance. And I'm just gonna take a guess now. Uh, is that the largest crowd ever to see the Lady Knights play, Dick? They didn't say it was a record. We'll have to check on that. It certainly beats the 81-82 record set when this team was here of 27-56. And the wave is here at Rutgers. Well, the wave was here. Kind of dissipated. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the court, it's 44-39. Conahan outside. Garner. Five-point Rutgers lead. Old Dominion looking to cut it to three. And thrown away. Pikett with the interception. And the nice weak side help that matchup gives you right into Pikett's hand. 
Maloof open, tried to force it into Wicks. Too many hands, and Old Dominion comes away with it. And Wicks takes it away from Conahan and a jump ball. It'll be Old Dominion's ball. That worked for Rutgers that time. The pressure on the defensive rebound. That's got to be the third or fourth time that Sue Wicks has actually stripped the ball away from an Old Dominion player in this game. Great hands because the ODU player made the fundamental move of trying to take that right between the two players. She tried to step between and could not. Blocked by Austin. Maloof. A scramble. The ball is still loose, and now a jump ball. It'll be Rutgers' ball. And that Rutgers matchup is tough, Lou. There's nowhere to go. There's always help. Left, right, they front the post inside. They've got the weak side help. ODU just having a tough time reading that defense and getting any offense going against it. Vicky Pikett, Maloof outside. Sue Wicks puts it up, way off. Garner puts up an acrobatic shot that goes in. That was a great move. She faked that ball to the left to pull the defense over there and then continued on her right. It's a three-point game. 44-41. Inside, Wicks puts it up. No good. Rebound, Goodson. Behind the back. Moves against Wicks. And Sue Wicks struggling here today. Not one of her better offensive games. For three, Garner no good. Rebound Wicks. Here's Malou. Bounce pass, Austin. Pulls up and hits. Nice transition game by Rutgers. And last time down here, Garner was worried too much about whether she was in three-point range. She looked down at that shot, make sure she was behind it, and then really didn't have her eyes on the basket. 46-41 the score. Under 15 minutes remaining. First half. Second half, excuse me. Wicks playing good defense down on the floor. Basket good and the foul on Rutgers. They call the foul on Maloof. Lender will sit down and Wendy Porter comes into the game for Rutgers. Kim McQuarter at the line. She'll try to complete the three-point play. 43% free throw shooter, but she hits that one. It's a two-point game. 46-44. Wicks baseline draws the foul. It'll be on Goodson, I believe. And Sue Wicks will go to the line, and she will shoot two. That's Goodson's third foul. That could be trouble for ODU. That's the fourth foul, as Dick just mentioned, on Goodson. She will have to sit down, and Donna Harrington will come off the bench for Old Dominion. Wicks hits the first. Adrian Goodson has a unique distinction in New Jersey. As a high school player, she was the first player in New Jersey selected to the boys all-county team. That is interesting. First girl in the county to score over 2,000 points. She was a heck of a player at Bayonne High School. 48-44 the score as Wicks hit both free throws. McWhorter, bounce pass, Harrington puts it up and in. And Harrington coming right back in, giving him some instant offense down low. 48-46. It's a dogfight. This game looks like it's going to go right down to the wire, the way things are going now. Austin outside, now inside the Wicks, who scores off the glass. When the going gets tough, Rutgers knows who to look for, and they do a nice job of getting that ball inside the Wicks that time. And she does such a great job of keeping the ball up, never brings it down. 50-46, cross-court, Conahan fires no good off the iron, but Harrington with a rebound in the basket. 
Boy, Donna Harrington really has played a terrific game off the bench for Old Dominion. 50 to 48, 13 40 remaining second half. Austin to Malou. He's part of the jump defense. It looks like a box and one. Wicks shovels back to Porter, lays it up. No good. Rebound knocked around. Wicks has it deflected. Porter rebounds, puts it up. No good. It rolls in. Oh, do you get in a little bit of trouble changing that defense up just a little bit too much, and they didn't have the rebounding protection inside. Rutgers getting 15 offensive rebounds to ODU five. That one off of McWhorter. Good defense by Wicks. The Old Dominion bench wanted a foul, and Wicks didn't get it. Porter sits down. Lender back into the game. Rutgers by four, and they can go up by six with a hoop here. Maloof, cross court, Lender knocked out by Lyons. Good look, they went cross court to Lender, and Lender was looking right down inside the Pikett to catch that zone just a split second late and shifting back. Pikett out, and Lynn Ust did for the game. Here's Ust. Austin open at the foul line, off the front of the rim. Harrington with the rebound. Conahan's open. No good. Rebound knocked around. Wicks takes it away. Three on one. Here's Austin. Bounce pass us. Puts it up and in. Lynn Us did a nice job that time. She kept her composure, kept her balance, had to put it down once, and went up with a great shot. Knocked around, and the foul on Rutgers, it'll be against Lender. Lady Knights by six, 54-48, 12-17 remaining, second half. That is the fourth team foul on Rutgers. Old Dominion will throw inside court. Nice shovel pass inside the Lions. A Really good pass by McWhorter. Excellent pass. 54-50. 12 minutes remaining. Maloof to Ust. Austin, Ust. Lynn Ust, open baseline, no good. Wicks fouls underneath. Actually, they call the foul on Old Dominion. Laura Kuba, now, she's just giving up too much size. She was trying to use her body to keep Wicks away from the Board and they caught her for that foul. Shot outside by Austin, no good. Lender retrieves to Maloof. Maloof looks to set up. Austin outside. Ust, Maloof inside. Lender puts it up off the glass, no good. Rebound knocked around, Austin. T. Austin, Lynn Ust. Maloof to Wicks. Baseline jumper short, but the foul on Conahan. Conahan doing the same thing Goodson did. They're just riding Wicks too much when she goes up for that shot. And Rutgers really doing the job off the offensive boards last two times down. And I think ODU's getting hurt. Changing defense is perhaps a little bit too much. They can't get into the flow of any defense. They don't have the matchups for the blockouts on the board, giving Rutgers too many shots. And Sue hits the first. She'll get another. So Wicks hanging on to it and says, no, wait a minute, now you gave me the ball. The official noted Stephanie Garner coming in. Garner comes in and Laura Kubin goes out. And uh, Wicks playing keep away with the basketball from the referee. So Wicks shooting four for four from the line, now five for five. And she hits the second. 56-50, six point Rutgers lead. 11-20 remaining. 40-game home winning streak on the line for Rutgers. And a foul on the baseline. And for Old Dominion, they have won five straight over Rutgers. In fact, they've never lost to the Lady Knights, and that, of course, is on the line as well. Third foul on Missy Lender. 
Garner having problems. Wick steals the inbounds pass. Here's Maloof up to Austin, lays it up and in. But ODU asleep, great job on that one. He really getting down ahead of that defense. Fifty-eight, fifty. Rutgers by eight. Inside, knocked away. Linus, good defensive play. There comes Molu. Just slow it up. Linus, wide open, moves baseline and scores. So Linus, the freshman, playing both ends of the floor and done a nice job. Two turnovers by Rutgers converted into two baskets and both of them off the transition with us that time taking the ball right to the hoop. Rutgers has its largest lead, the Lady Knights by 10. Cross court, Garner, foul underneath is on Rutgers. Linus, I think, just being a little bit too aggressive, trying to put pressure on Donna Harrington, fighting her over the top. And Old Dominion will throw in Rutgers for 16 foul here in the second half for Lynn Uster first. Again, pressure, us knocks it out of bounds. Crept up to 10 points now with half of this last half gone. ODU's got to answer with two here. And offensive foul on Harrington. And Lender really took the charge that time. Messi Lender done a nice job of drawing that charge. Teresa Grant liking that. Wendy Larry not real happy with the outcome of that call. She is furious. Wendy La Larry coached at Arizona, replaced by June Okowski when she left to come to ODU. Wicks turning around off the back of the rim. ODU the other way. McWhorter with a nice move in the lane. And ODU continuing to do a nice job with that transition. Rutgers has to stop that. 60 to 52. Eight point Rutgers lead. Us to Austin to Wicks. Knocked around and Old Dominion comes away with the basketball. Nine and a half remaining second half. And Old Dominion can cut it to six. Cuban to McWhorter. Cross court, Conahan's open. Here is Harrington from the foul line. No good. Rebound knocked around. Austin with the rebound. And the foul is on Old Dominion. Tough shot for Harrington. Pretty far away from the basket. She's much better closer to the basket. Conahan having a little trouble from the outside. Rutgers able to leave her alone. Some of the Rutgers fans were really into the game with their red or their scarlet, excuse me, the Rutgers sweatshirt. Here's Austin. Maloof, back to Austin. The foul will be on Harrington, trying to defend against T. Austin. And now Old Dominion beginning to pile up some fouls. That is their sixth team foul. And that's Austin's quickness. She made that nice swing move along the baseline. There would have been a mismatch had she gotten the ball down inside because Harrington is much bigger, but she drew the foul. Maloof off the inbound pass. Cannot hit. Last touch, Old Dominion. Old Dominion caught sleeping there. Rutgers by eight. Maloof trying to get it into Lender. The foul is on Kelly Lyons. She says no, but the referee says yes, and he'll win that battle. They usually do. <laughs> And since Old Dominion is over the limit, Missy Lender will go to the line and she will shoot one and one. Stephanie Garner back into the game for Old Dominion. Laura Kubin will sit down. Lender's first is good. Well, it rattled for about two or three seconds, but it did go down. Lender, a 70% free throw shooter. Second on the way, good. ODU, of course, playing without one of their leading scorers. Adrian Goodson, 18 plus per game. 
on the bench. Got to come in soon now with only 8.50 to go. 10-point Rutgers lead. Nice pass inside. Lyon scores. Harrington with the good touch pass. 8-point Rutgers lead. 62-54. Ust. Cross court. Austin open. Baseline. Jumper short. Gets her own rebound. And scores. Great move against the zone. They went over top of the zone. Austin had all the time in the world to hit it. And then no one to block her out. She got her own rebound. 64-54. Eight minutes remaining. Outside wide open. Garner for three. Doesn't go. Rebound knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Old Dominion. Vicki Pikett back into the game for Rutgers. And Lynn Ust will sit down. She gets a hand. Played well. Austin, Maloof inside Lender, and a foul underneath. Before the shot, it'll be on Old Dominion. Rutgers has opened up a 10-point lead. Wendy Larry trying to decide when to go back with Adrian Goodson. She has four fouls, eight minutes, 10 points down. You almost have to go with her now. All right, Missy Lender at the line. And her first is good. Missy has played a good second half. 6-2 junior from Enola, PA. And very similar to the Maryland game. Not really into the flow in the first half. Second half has come out and played well. Old Dominion on the rebound as Lender missed the second shot. Nice thing to have a player like Sue Wicks with her ability. She can pressure that rebounder and stay down there and still get back down the floor into her defensive spot. Harrington tried to dump it off. Last touch by Lyons. That was too bad because she made a very nice move in there. The nice world move. I thought she should have gone up with a shot. That was a great move. Seven and a half remaining. Rutgers by 11, 65-54. Austin. Great shot. She's really improving that perimeter game outside. Oh, do you almost needing a timeout to just get their game plan together, make sure they realize what the score is and how much time is left. Rutgers, largest lead. Lady Knights by 13, 67-54. The foul in the lane is on Wicks. So now Rutgers is over the limit, and Old Dominion will be shooting. Foul is on Wicks. And shooting the one and one will be Kim McWhorter. She is not a particularly good foul shooter. Only 43% on the season. Lane violation on Old Dominion. Wendy Larry up off the bench. No question about that, Coach. You well, just didn't see your player violate. Remember, the players on the line must wait till the ball is released. And it was Jackie Kenny, the freshman. You could see her doing that balancing act, and she just couldn't hang on long enough. No question about the call. Except in the mind of Wendy Larry. <laughs> right. Janet Maloof brings it up for Rutgers. Here's Austin outside. Austin pops. No good. Off the rim. And Old Dominion has a three-on-one. Garner, nice shot. Adrian Goodson back into the game with four personal fouls. Hits the baseline jumper. It's an 11-point Rutgers lead, 67-56. Pikett got position, scores, and draws the foul. It's another one of those athletic move shots. The same thing happened the first half. Both she and Wicks had the same kind of shot, and that's what makes her so tough inside. She's got great athletic ability. She went up off balance. It really was desperation, but she put it high enough on the board to go in. Wendy Larry having some words with the referee. Upset about something. 
Could be the fact that her team's behind the way they're playing. Teresa Grenz feeling good about inching up with that lead every second, just putting extra points on that board. All right, a timeout on the floor. Six minutes, 24 seconds remaining, second half. The score, Rutgers 69, Old Dominion 56. Dr. Eric Knudsen is a March of Dimes grantee at California's Stanford University. Dr. Knudsen studies the hearing of owls. If he can discover how it works, develops, and adapts to hearing impairments, he will gain insight into human hearing and deafness. Such basic knowledge may one day help bring sound to babies who are born deaf. Research is an A1 priority in the March of Dimes fight against birth defects. Support the March of Dimes. Rutgers leading Old Dominion by 13 with 6.24 remaining in this half. Lou, you talked about that backcourt scoring in the first half. Look at the second half. Rutgers getting 24 points from the backcourt, and that's very important for Rutgers. ODU only getting 15. Turnover is a big factor. Second half, Rutgers only turning it over twice so far. ODU turning it over eight times. And Wendy Larry calling that timeout. Talk it over with her Lady Monarchs. And she was quite upset about something. There the is the Old Dominion bench. Ann Donovan, of course, in the blue dress there, the great player from Paramus Catholic in New Jersey, graduated in 1983. She's a part-time coach, just joined them today. She has been in Japan for five months, has played there for about three or four years in training for the Olympics, will be with our team in Seoul, Korea, as the primary center. Maloof outside. ODU trying to play the matchup. Rutgers being patient against it. And Old Dominion with good defense and the foul is on Janet Maloof. Good job by Old Dominion that time on the defensive side of the ball. I'll tell you, in the women's game, 30 seconds uh, is not very long, and that clock can get down to close to zero pretty quickly, and you've got to force a couple. All right, Adrian Goodson is at the line, 65% free throw shooter. Senior out of Bayonne, averaging nearly 19 points a game. And her first is good. She'll get another. Adrian, of course, six in the all-time scoring list at ODU. And her second on the way, and no good. Off the front of the rim, Lender the rebound. 69-57, under six minutes remaining. Austin quickly to Wicks, and she tried to force it into Pike at last touch by Lions of Old Dominion. And ODU almost getting in trouble that time. What they were trying to do, the same thing Rutgers was, put the pressure on that rebounder. Rutgers almost got the basket in transition. Wicks traveling. Sue Wicks plays the game with such intensity. And uh, you gotta love the way she looked back at the rep, almost as, as if to say, you gotta be kidding. She plays it with intensity and she plays it with ability too. A lot of basketball ability. Old Dominion needs to put some points up on the board. But Wicks has other ideas. She steals and scores. Rutgers is into the circus shots this particular game because Sue Wicks did the same thing and the fans love it. Went up, had to do the little double pump with her athletic ability, converted it to a basket. And we should talk about the other end, too. I think that Rutgers matchup defense is doing a fantastic job against ODU, getting them to four shots, creating the turnover, taking away the easy basket. Sue Wicks on the line. She will try to complete the three-point play. And she cannot, and she misses, but Pikett picks 
the pocket of the Old Dominion player. What was that? Now Peter Piper picked a what? Or was we're that Piper? Oh, we're, we're not getting into that. Forget it. Here's Austin. Maloof outside. <laughs> Maloof pops, no good. And Austin <laughs> tracks down the rebound. Maloof. Great job by Rutgers on the offensive boards, and that move by Pikett previously was really great. It was just her hustle that got the ball back from ODU because Conahan really had it. Pikett, no good. Now, Vicky, that is not your shot, definitely, although you do have to take it. Goodson just creamed Malouf. Basket is no good on the offensive foul. Janet Maloof is up. She took Janet a oh my, shot. Oh my back, she's saying. And Goodson is gone. That's her fifth personal foul. She has fouled out. Adrian Goodson fouled out of the game. And right now, Old Dominion taking their time, replacing Goodson. There's a look at Adrian. She played a good ball game for Old Dominion. She will finish at the 428 mark of the second half. Donna Harrington returns for Old Dominion. On the offensive foul, Rutgers will inbound and go the length of the court. Maloof picked up by Laura Kubin. Bounce pass, Pike it. Wicks, strong move. She is so tough from about eight feet. Either that turnaround jumper, she can do it either way, swinging around to her left or to her right. Rutgers' largest lead, 73-57, a 16-point bulge for the Lady Knights. Conahan outside, no good. Rebound, Austin. This was a close game at one point, but Rutgers now is pouring it on. Maloof, great pass inside the lender. Great pass. She looked left, which is where Sue Wicks was. The defense went to that side, and you could almost feel it up here. She saw Lender underneath and delivered the ball beautifully. And Old Dominion, I believe, has just called timeout. So, three minutes, 39 seconds remaining. Your score, Rutgers 75, Old Dominion 57. I always wanted to be like my father, you know, order me a dry martini. My mother, she had, she drinks a lot and it got me addicted. If I take one drink, I'm going to take another and another because I can't control myself and I'll die. Alcohol is a drug and you can get hooked on it. And the younger you start, the more damage you can do. I'm cool in my way, not by drinking. Now I can see going to college. Say no and say yes to your life. There are some happy Rutgers fans, Rutgers cheerleaders. Reaching for the top, I guess, right? And they have reason to be happy, too, because they're playing great basketball right now. Rutgers leads by 18, 75-57, their largest lead at the three-minute, 39-second mark of this second half. Old Dominion came in at 12-6. They had won five in a row, but Rutgers is putting an end to that streak. And they're also putting an end to a streak which saw them lose five in a row to Old Dominion. Old Dominion had never lost to Rutgers, but unless something amazing happens in the next three minutes and 39 seconds, they'll have their first taste of defeat against the Lady Knights. Harrington in the paint. Strong move, and it goes. Nice move. She made that move before in the first half. She obviously worked on that one. Austin looking for help. ODU bringing that pressure out, which they have to do now, and really picking up man-to-man, -man, looking for the good double opportunity, and here it comes. Austin's wide open. Cannot hit the layup. Wicks the rebound and the basket. And that's what makes her so nice. She tipped that ball. She got it. The hands kept up. She hit the floor. The ball never came down. It was back up before the defense even knew what happened. 
Kubin. Move inside, Wicks rebound up ahead to Pikett. Pikett to Austin and they will call traveling on Pikett. Come back to that last play, that pass by Malouf was also great. She saw the double coming. Austin was in the perfect position down around that baseline so the defense had to really go a distance to do that double. Kelly Lyon scores. Nice move. 77-61, 16-point Rutgers lead. Malouf double teams in the backcourt. Breaks the press. Bounce pass. Austin in the paint. Puts it up short. Wicks fighting for the rebound along with Leslie Davis. It'll be a jump ball, and it will be Old Dominion's ball. T. Austin comes out of the game, and Lynn Ust back into the game for Rutgers. Great quickness by Sue Wicks and great quick hands the way she's able. She's tied the ball up at least three or four times without getting a foul call. Harrington stepped on the end line. And it was great help by that matchup in helping defensive Rutgers because Wicks tried to get the steal and that left Harrington open to make the drive, but Pikett and Porter both covered. Here's Ust up ahead to Pikett. And Maloof will bring it across. Approaching the two minute mark. Sue Wicks back to us. Here's Maloof. Pike it open inside Wicks and she draws the foul. So Sue Wicks will go to the line. She'll shoot two with one minute 55 seconds remaining. Well, Rutgers looking to get. Victory, sweet 16, I guess. And done a nice job of it, eating some time off of that clock, working the ball around, and then when they need it, going right to Sue Wick. 15 and three coming in. And they will also win their 41st strike game at home. Sue Wicks, 21 points now, and she hits that free throw. She'll get another, averaging 25.9 coming in. And Donna Harrington will sit down. She played a really terrific game off the bench for Old Dominion. Ball bounced around underneath as Wicks misses the free throw. 78-61, 145 remaining. Kubin comes back to help out. The quarter stuck there, couldn't dribble the ball, and they didn't realize that. No one's coming back to help her. They're saying, just dribble. She's saying, I can't. McWhorter into Lions. Nice pass by Kim McWhorter. Us to Wicks, Porter, back to Wicks, oh! What a nice play, a great pass by Wicks to get that ball over to Porter, and then Wicks continued to cut, which so many players don't do, and that's a great thing about her, she does more than score points. Kubin outside, doesn't go, rebound underneath, Lyons puts it in. Kelly Lyons, 80 to 65, one minute remaining. Maloof to Wicks, to Porter, no good. I know, Lou, when you vote for player of the year, you gotta take a look at a player like Wicks and say she scores, she plays defense, she plays hard, she rebounds, she can pass the ball exceptionally well. Rutgers ball as the ball goes out of bounds. Lender coming in, and Sue Wicks should get quite a hand as she comes out. Wicks and Malou full exit. Austin across the midcourt line. Lynn Ust at the foul line, pops and hits. Nice shot, she looked at Porter, but the defense didn't go for it. She had the open jumper. 20 seconds remaining, Rutgers has won this game. The final score will be about a 19 point differential. Rutgers up by 17 now, 82-65 and uh, just played very well, especially in the second half of the second half. I think they did, and it's a mark of a good team because they didn't panic, they hung right in there, even though they went in at halftime, and it was a tight basketball game, came out the second half, as Missy Lender has done before, gave them that instant offense, and then they just crept up and inched that lead up. 
minute by minute. Here's us to Austin. Pulls up, too hard, rebound knocked around underneath and saved. Nope, last touch by Rutgers. Old Dominion will inbound. Eight seconds remaining. Rutgers will improve to 16 and three. And McCorder travels with the ball. Three seconds remaining, Rutgers has the basketball. Kelly Lyons will come out and for the final three seconds, an Old Dominion substitution. Here's Porter at the buzzer, short, and that'll do it. Teresa Grant wins her 301st career victory. And Rutgers wins this game by the score of 82-65. They improved to 16-3 on the season. Their number eight ranking, no doubt, should stay uh, pretty much intact. Old Dominion's five-game winning streak comes to an end. They drop to 12-7, and seven, and also Rutgers has defeated Old Dominion for the first time ever. I think it was a great basketball game. Another story of uh, Missy Lender, the second half, came out and just played uh, tremendously. She had 13 points that second half, which was really tremendous. The matchup defense, Lou, I think was as good as I have seen Rutgers play it, and I think that was a big factor in limiting ODU to 65 points. And Rutgers perimeter game, you, you talked about the guard offense. Uh, I think that's as strong as it has been, and I think that's very important for them to climb in those rankings and to compete against the top teams in the country. Obvious that ODU misses a player like Donna Harrington, who's playing sparingly. When she's in there, they're a much stronger team. All right, the so Lady Knights win this one, 82-65. Our next Lady Knight telecast on Channel 6 will be against the Hawks of St. Joseph's, an Atlantic 10 game coming up in two weeks. So that'll do it from the Lewis Brown Athletic Center. For Dick Lloyd and the rest of the TKR Cable Sports Crew, I'm Lou Brogno. Thanking you very much for joining us. Once again, your final score, Rutgers 82, Old Dominion 65.